Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error that is direct x12 is not supported on your system. So if you're receiving this error with the game, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to rename or delete this file. So for this, go to the game installation folder, make a right click of the game, select manage, now click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder, open the game folder, and then open the engine folder over here, open plugins folder, marketplace, NVIDIA folder, and then open DLSS. Now open streamline folder, binaries, third party, Win64. Now over here, you will see this uh, file that is slpcl.dll. In my case, I have already renamed it. Before you make any changes, just make sure that you create a backup of this file first. So make a right click and then copy this file and then you can paste it just create a backup in my case i've already created a backup once you have a backup over here now you can rename it or you can even delete it or you can rename it and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to now for xbox game pass user uh, you can go to Xbox app and then you can make a right click on the game and then go to properties. Go to manage option first and then go to files and then click on browse and then open the game folder, content folder, engine folder, plugins folder, marketplace. NVIDIA, DLSS, Streamline, Binaries, Third Party, Win64 and do the same thing. You can either delete this file or you can rename this file. Just create a backup first and then you can rename it or delete it and then you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings and then go to privacy and security, Windows security, and then click on virus and threat protection. And then go to protection history. Over here, the game might be blocked over here. Now over here you can see protected folder access blocked. Uh, you can check few of the blocked application or files. Click on yes to allow. And if you see the game exe, so here you can see the game exe, it has been blocked. So over here you will see the action option. So click on the action and then you have to select allow and then you can launch the game. Also go to virus and threat protection over here. Then scroll down, click on manage ransomware protection. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow and then click on add and allow app, browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So in my case, the game is installed in this location. So go to the game installation folder, select the game exe file, click on open. Again, click on add and allow app, browse all apps, and then open this folder, binaries, Win64, select this exe file, and then click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box, and then click on control panel, go to system and security, Windows Defender Firewall, click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall, click on change settings, click on allow another app, click on browse, and then go to the game installation folder once again, and then select the game exe file, click on open, add. In my case, I have already added. Again, click on allow another app, click on browse, and then open this folder, binaries, win64, and then select this exe file, click on open, in click on add. In my case, I've already added. Once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to try different Windows power plan. For this, type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel, go to hardware and sound, and then click on power options. Now over here, you will see balance, high performance or power saver. So if you see high performance, a, uh, select high performance and then launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try power saver and then check so try each one so ch check high performance if that does not work select power saver if that does not work select balance and check which one is working fine for you now the next step is to now if you're using 
Intel Extreme Tuning Utility Software. In that case, you can lower down performance score ratio to maybe 56, 55, 54, maybe 53. So you can go to Intel Extreme Tuning Utility Software and then you can go to performance score ratio and you can lower it down. Maybe 55, 56, 53, 54, you can try and check if it's working or not. Now the next step is to next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now for this you can go to Steam Maker, right click on the game, select manage, now click on browse local files. This will take you to the game installation folder. Open the game folder, binaries, win64. Select the game exe file, make a right click, select properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK. Make a double click, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, again, this time select Windows 8 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. If that does not work, select Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. Still not working, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK and then check. Now, when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working. In that case, you can uncheck these boxes and hit apply, click on OK and follow the next step. Now, the next step is to verify the game file. This is important. So make a right click in the game and then select properties. So select properties and then go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to do not overclock. So if you have overclocked your computer, you can just remove the overclock. You can set it to default. And then once you remove the overclock, then close all the overclocking application like if you have MSI afterburner running, revert unit running, you can close it. If you have any other overclocking application running, close it. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to general tab, turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game and then check. Still not working. Like if you have any other overlay application running like Discord running, you can go to Discord settings and turn off overlay. Now if you are using NVIDIA app, in that case, you can open NVIDIA app and then we can go to settings and then you can go to NVIDIA overlay and turn off this option. So turn off overlay over here. Also, uh, if you have, uh, you can go to graphics option over here and uh, when you go to graphic option, uh, you can select the game in the list. And if you see the optimize option. So in my case, I don't see the optimize option. So over here, if you see optimize option, you can optimize it and then uh, check. Now the next step is to rename save game files. Now before you rename save game file, create a backup first because when you rename or delete the save game files, all the save game progress will be lost. You have to start everything from scratch. Now for this, uh, you can go to file explorer and then go to documents folder open my games folder and over here uh, you will see the game folder so copy the game folder maybe paste to the desktop just create a backup now once you have a backup now you can rename this game folder you have to start everything from scratch so rename this folder and then you can launch the game and then check you can even delete it and you already have a backup so no need to worry now the next step is to still not working the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest geforce game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue 
and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now md card users first of all uninstall the current graphic card driver and then restart your computer then go to md website select your graphic card and then install the latest one latest graphic card driver again restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this you can type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings click on add desktop app and then select the game exe file click on add once the game is added find the game in the list now once you see the game click on the game over here select high performance and you will see your graphic card now you can launch the game still not working you can also add the first exe file uh, this is the one you can select it and then click on add once the game is added now click on the game over here and then sel again select high performance and you will see your graphic card and then you can launch the game still not working in that case you can roll back graphics driver so if the latest graphic card driver is not working in that case you can roll back roll back graphics driver now for this i'm showing for nvidia you can go to nvidia website and then again uh, you have to select your graphic card select the operating system click on find and then scroll down and find uh, click on view more version click on it and then uh, right now the latest one is uh, latest is 572.83 so maybe you can uh, try this 572.70 or maybe 572.60 so roll by graphic card uh, card driver uh, click on view download it but when you go for installation make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then restart your computer and then launch the game still not working the next step is to close the riot vanguard now some if you have uh, like which game um, a game that has riot vanguard uh, valorant game if you are uh, playing valorant game then in that case sometimes it's running in the background so you can just click on this app arrow now over here if you see riot vanguard running or riot client running you can simply make a right click and exit that this application and if you have this running in task manager you can just make a right click and go to task manager if you have vanguard or any kind of uh, uh, right client services running over here close it you can just make a this is just an example make a right click and then, then click on end task for this riot vanguard service now also if you're using vpn in that case you can turn off vpn you can close vpn and then you can launch the game next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website install these visual studio files so install this x86 and x64 so download this x86 file and then you can run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install download this x64 file as well now again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete make sure both are installed once installed you can close these and then restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly 
In my case, it's 16 GB, so I will calculate as per 16 GB. So, and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16, 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So one 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM, total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure the battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the, system, uh, to the system when you update the system BIOS. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Now, the next step is to Unplug all the external devices. So if you have OTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnected. If you have extra controller connected, disconnected. You can disconnect the controller which you're using right now, launch the game. Once the game is up and running, now you can connect the controller and then check. Disconnect third party software. So if you have any uh, third party ser uh, services or software running, you can close it. And also if you have undervolted, you can remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can just make a right click on the game, select manage, now click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.